What is up, NetSuite people? Okay, so I've got an interesting one here for you today. Um, I had a client, he wrote in to me. He's like, Merrick, made a financial statement report and I put some ratios on the top. He loved it, it was awesome. Problem is, it was only working for one subsidiary. Why is that? We're gonna take a look. Okay, perfect. So we're in a NetSuite account. So I'm gonna go ahead and customize a financial statement report. So let's just do reports, financial, income statement, right? So I'm gonna customize this. I'm gonna add those financial statement ratios, basically recreate what was happening. Coming down, hitting customize. Okay, awesome. And so first things first, I wanna point out two things. One, we created this you know, custom income statement. So two things happened. Here's the name for that custom income statement. But then the second thing that happened, you can see it automatically created a custom income statement layout. Now I could come back here and you know go back and choose one of the standard income statement layouts. Uh, but for our purposes, I'm not gonna do that because I wanna illustrate why it was only working for one subsidiary. Okay, so here we have our subsidiary context, parent company consolidated, that's fine, right? Um, so let me just call this MD, my initials, MD KPI income statement. Let's add a text row, just make this a blank row. Let's add a financial row. Um, that's not what I wanted. Formula row, boom. Let's call this net profit margin. Yeah, you know, I'm just gonna do one ratio just for illustrative purposes, right? So I'm just gonna put this at the top of my financials. Boom, net income, no parentheses, over, boom, over, income. Here, income is actually probably more closely net sales, right? Just keep that in mind. Multiply, let's just move the decimal place over a little bit, make it easier to see. Okay, this is not a currency, it's a percent. We'll make this bigger, give it some color. Cool. Okay, so I'm going to save this, right? So I'm saving again, I'm creating a report and I'm also saving this layout. The layout, what that's doing is that's the rows of the report. The rows of the report being defined separately from the columns, the filters, the sort, sorting, right? So a particular layout could be applied to many different uh, financial statement reports, right? So I'll save that, boom. Let's see how that looks. Okay, awesome, there's our net profit margin, boom, 40.48%, looking good, we're doing well. Okay, let's see how Australia is doing, right? Let's give them a look. Let's see how they're doing. Loading. Okay, there we go. See, here's the problem. That row that we added, the ratio at the top, it's gone. Why is that? Well, again, the problem is it was only defined for the subsidiary context that was specified. So if we go to reports, financial, all the way here at the bottom, we have financial row layouts. We also have row layout assignments. So we created that financial row layout. That was where we defined that additional KPI. So let's just filter this on income statements, make it easier to find. Okay, here's, here's the one I made. I have inline editing on. I'm just gonna change the name of this, uh, make it more descriptive, um, matching in this instance, the report name, right? MD, KPI, income statement, layout, US. Again, these different layouts are corresponding to the different NetSuite editions. So this account has subsidiaries located in various different countries. NetSuite has additions associated with those various countries. Cool. Okay, so let's see what the assignments are for my custom row, financial row layout. Here we go. We can see again, it's only defined for the subsidiary parent company consolidated, and it's only for MD KPI income statement. So what I can do here, I can say, okay, give me just report type income statement. Now I don't care what the row layout is. I wanna see everything. So let's go down and look at my report and see here's what's happening. We can see that the row layout, um, move this. We can see the row layout over here. 
is basically even for the subsidiaries in the US, so like the parent company non-consolidated, it's not applying my new layout, row layout by default. It's only using the, um, the subsidiary context when I click to that customized button. So what I have to do if I want to make it apply for all US, I'm again inline editing on, I'm just going in here and manually updating it. And I'm going to do that for all of my US subsidiaries. Again, we can see here these various ones, they're using the, uh, the standard. I'm just going to change it back to the one that I made. Boom. Awesome. This is good. Eliminations, I'm just going to leave, to be honest. Okay, so well, that, that probably saved. So Australia, again, I didn't apply it to Australia because that's not US. Let's look at one of our US subs, US East. Let's see here. Okay, awesome. So now for all of those subsidiaries that I defined, I'm going to be seeing my custom row layout. So the key takeaway here is basically after we created that custom report with that custom layout, we then that only created that layout for the subsidiary when we clicked that customize button. If we want it to apply to other subsidiaries, we've got to go into the uh, financial row layout assignments, which is again reports financial at the bottom here row layout assignments, we've got to go in and assign that layout to the other subsidiaries. So that's it, a uh, quick tip.